A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, January 21st. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The state's recent decision to end contact tracing for those who contract COVID-19 does not mean contact tracing is a thing of the past, says Dutchess County Health Commissioner Dr. Livia Santiago Rosado. She says it's now up to the individual to let others know that he or she caught the virus. It's really important for the individual to now become responsible for, number one, if you're sick, getting yourself tested, and if you come back positive, to inform your contacts, those people with whom you spent at least 15 minutes within a 24-hour period and within six feet of them. Home testing kits are now available, and the state, counties, and private medical facilities are providing testing for COVID-19. A lawsuit has been filed in the hamlet of Cutabackville regarding the pollution of a stream and river that eventually feed the Delaware River. The lawsuit claims a compound, which is owned by Dragon Springs Buddhist Incorporated, has been polluting the nearby Basher Kill and Neversink River after high levels of fecal matter were detected in nearby waters. There has been pollution of that stream, said Chris Murray, a lawyer representing neighbors, pointing to the Basher Kill from the compound of Dragon Springs and it has violated the Clean Water Act. Actions being brought to stop pollution of the stream and river and clean up what they've done following recent construction at the compound. I think they've done a lot of construction up there. They have a wastewater treatment plant that I'm not sure they know how to run. And I think that they have just kind of ignored the rules and the regulations that prevent that from happening. The compound is the national headquarters for the Falun Gong which promotes traditional Chinese culture and opposes Chinese communist government. The Shen Yu Dance Company is also based at the compound. More news in just a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Mount St. Mary College has received a $325,000 grant from the Mother Cabrini Health Foundation to be used to develop the Desmond Center for Campus Engagement and Wellness. The Desmond Center will be located on the Newburgh College's campus in what is currently Guzman Hall. It will provide medical and educational services for underserved individuals and families, including the uninsured. The center will offer educational workshops family counseling services, fitness checks, immunizations, professional development events, and more for local residents. A 30-year-old Middletown man was sentenced in Orange County Court on Thursday to a total of 14 years in state prison and three years of post-release supervision on his conviction for numerous sales of narcotics to an undercover Middletown police officer and a violation of probation. In November 2021, Glenn Bradshaw was convicted of three counts each of criminal sale and criminal possession of a controlled substance for selling cocaine to the undercover cop. As a result of bail reform, he was released with no monetary bail set pending his case, including during the trial. He was remanded to the Orange County Jail without bail following the verdict. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.